Hello, welcome back. Hi, bird. <laughs> uh, last time I did the, the casino mission, where we were supposed to spy on, what's her name, Monad. Uh, despite my best efforts, I could not find any way to actually get any useful information there. After I recorded that, I came back and tried on my own to see if I could um, learn anything more from... Really? Oh, I don't have my modifier. I should stop by the lodge before I go home. I wonder why this is uh, sparking. I don't recall that having happened. I've been by here. Now wait, what's going on here? Why are you broken? I need my modifier to investigate that. Uh, so, right, the... Um, hi, Typer. Uh, are you going toward that fuse box? What are you doing at 3 a.m. here? Hold on. I wish I had my modifier, but I can... I'm going to spy on you first, in case something interesting is going on. So yeah, I went back to the casino on my own uh, to see if I could learn anything more. Did discover a couple of interesting things. So remember that security computer on the first floor? I was able to walk through the barrier for some reason. Uh, it seems that it unlocks at... Mm, are you the one who lives at City Hall? Yeah, you are. You're just going to bed. Okay. Not messing with the views box. Bouncer's going someplace. I was heading back to my hotel to sleep, but then I just realized that I have no actual reason to do that. Since I have coffee that can keep me awake. Let's see where the bouncer lives. I'll get my modifier later. Yeah, anyway, so I went to the casino. Uh, the barrier to the security computer for some reason opens at 1am. It doesn't, um, doesn't restrict my access. I hacked it and couldn't actually understand why that would be. I think... Um, I also, right, so I, the, the way that I hacked it was I just teleported past the barrier, um, with my modifier, so that's an easy way to get, get in without having that taken away. Uh, right, so I had my modifier in the casino. I can hack the security computer because apparently the unhack handler doesn't happen if I'm hacking the computer that has the handler in it or something? I don't know, I'm not sure how that works exactly. So this is the bouncer's place. I'm going to follow him. Uh, right, and with my modifier in there, because I was curious, I checked uh, the code in the casino machines. I had made an observation at one point that um, even though it told me I had won money, it, I didn't seem to be getting money or getting as much as it told me. Apparently, in the code for those machines, they basically just leave off a zero at the end of each uh, win amount. So if it tells me I won $100, it gives me 10 If it tells me I won $20, it gives me 2 <laughs> So the machines kind of cheat. Other than that, it was pretty straightforward. Just basically gets a random value if it's, if it's within a certain range, gives you the big prize. If it's within a certain larger range, it gives you a slightly smaller one. Basically exactly what you'd expect for a simple programmed casino machine, except for the stingy payouts. And yeah, I tried the, the sequence of events with Monad several more times and could not find any way to get her to uh, divulge any more information. So I guess I should think about whether... Hmm. Too tired to run. Okay, time for coffee. I guess... Hmm. So if I want to think about this in the context of just from a game designer's perspective... Oh, I brought Pogo with me. How about if he lives here? Uh, I'll check his code. He doesn't... I checked it already earlier. He doesn't do anything super interesting. Just sort of walks around. Uh, right, so from a game design perspective, I feel like that's probably just my official chance to meet, meet um, Monad. Uh, because she is an important character. Coffee. Very, very full. I want to do the coffee thing, make me less sleepy. Also, this is occasionally useful. Um, I don't need to compile that. Okay, anyway, drink. Although, now that I've done that, that means somebody put this back on, the, on top of the computer. I had left it under that. That's interesting. Huh. Now that I drank that, that means I won't be able to sleep. So I'm just going to have to wait for morning. Because um, I need to talk to Pixie to advance stuff. But I think there are some things I want to do while it's 
nighttime. For one thing, I want to bother Frank in here. <laughs> Why don't I have his name? That's Frank. Surely I've used the extractor on Frank. Yeah, that's Frank. I guess I just didn't do that in the save file. I thought I had. Hmm. Who hey, was this? Hmm. Dorisburg Pedestrian OS. Right. Don't care. I already know what that does. I guess he's... <laughs> he's still stinky. Uh, I guess he's too too asleep to scold me for... Um, for coming into his bedroom. Have I ever looked behind Felix's desk? What's he keeping here? Porn, coffee, and a computer that's not hackable. Right, he's not a hacker. He doesn't know how that stuff works. Um... Be quiet. Oops. Be quiet. Okay, that thing that I'm hearing is not... music. Why can't you put it there? You just picked it up from there. Alright, fine. That's going on the floor. Uh, anyway, yeah, nothing interesting to see here. Okay, so what am I doing? Um, I seem to recall that this is the point in the story where when Pixie comes in in the morning, she's going to tell me nothing really to go to do today, going to go out for lunch with Ivan, where she discovers he's being called into the ministry, and that's where that storyline starts. So I think I'm realizing um, that, uh, hey, I'm curious about something. I think I'm realizing um, that I didn't break the game as badly as I thought I had the first time that I uh, went through it. I wonder if there's any more dirt I can dig up on George. Uh, I think the main thing that um, that actually went wrong there was just that I gave Ivan the drink too early, because apparently that's supposed to be the very last action I take in the game. I don't think that, um, do I still have that disc on me? Here, Pogo, you live here. You're, you shine. You're luminescent. Actually, what can you do? Not very much. Just move, basically. Move randomly. Um, I've lost my train of thought. Oh well, whatever. Um, Julian's not here. What does he keep on his computer? <laughs> Can't find net to connect to. On EROS, under GPL, connect, store, restore, remote call. Ooh! Ooh. I wonder... I wonder what kind of things Yulian has stored on his computer. Maybe I shouldn't... Maybe I shouldn't mess with this, but now I have gotten extremely curious. Uh, I would like to know... Let's see, what is it? It's uh, getting memories. Okay, um, you know what? <laughs> Hi, Pogo. <laughs> uh, so he's calling bar twice. Uh-huh. I'm just going to mess with your thing. Oh boy, I've forgotten my syntax. Um, can I just... do that? It's empty. Okay, nothing is stored on his computer. Fair enough. Just wanted to see if he happened to have any interesting keys and values stored here. He does not. Oops. Okay, so he has one of these. Coffee Kafka. That's apparently the name of the coffee that I have. Hmm. Uh, is it? Maybe. Log intruder, log hacker. Now, wait a minute. Is this... Oh, this is Yulian Logger. Oh, I found Yulian Logger. Right? So, right, those are not event handlers. Those are remotely called. Yeah, Yulian Logger. 
Hey, Julian. I'm just messing around in your office. Don't mind me. <laughs> uh, does he have anything for me, I wonder? Nope, nothing at all. What's this computer do? Fibonacci. Fibonacci sequence. Alright. That's a humidity computer. Hey. Oh, hey, Frank. One second. Okay. What are you up to? Just sitting there waking up, I guess. Sprack manual four. Oh, hey, a fridge full of beer. In case I wanted any beer, it's in there. Okay. Uh, how early does a Rocky come in? Do I know where she lives? I don't think I do. I'm just kind of messing around here until Pixie comes in. Uh, I couldn't really think of anything... Oh, hey, there she is. Couldn't really think of anything... Hi there. Any luck at the casino? Uh, eh, so-so. Did you find anything? Longson is up to something, let me tell you. Just like we suspected. But he kept cool yesterday. Okay, so you were sitting on him while I was spying on Monad, I guess? Is the implication here? Uh, hearing these sparks has reminded me that I need to check that fuse box up above now that I have my modifier again. Alright, so she's still suspicious of the mayor. That's interesting. Maybe there is more to see with him. Okay. Yeah, so I didn't. I couldn't think of anything I particularly wanted to do before I moved the story forward with uh, Pixie and Ivan here. Um, so I'm just going to let that happen. While I wait for her to arrive, let's go check that fuse box. What was up with this fuse box? Do not touch. It slurps. This one's not working properly, Frank, in January. Don't get this wrong with it. Don't slip into it until I've investigated more Araki. What fuse box is this? Broken fuse box. So something that slurps with no connections is just going to, uh... Just going to... Uh, not really do anything and just make me quit out. Type 1. That must have been Type 2, probably. Okay, so that's still broken. Tick, tick, boom. Araki. <laughs> so... I had never seen this before. This is her work to uh, to make that explode on the, the Ministry guy. That's interesting. <laughs> and that's how she writes her name. That's funny. Alright. Um, when does Pixie go to the lodge? What would she think if I'd show up at her apartment early in the morning? I didn't pass her on the way here, so she's probably not there yet. It's locked. Is there anything back there? Doesn't seem like it. There's a place where something could be hidden. There's a floppy. Music token 7. Blah, 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 blah. Wolf, right. What's this? Also, how late does Pixie sleep? I would think she would have gone there already. Where am I? Oh, the plaza again. I see. What's this place next to Monad's? I don't think I've ever opened this door. What is this? 
Oh, uh, I realized something about the snus. This is actually a very useful item. It's a consumable, which does not run out. Uh, so it gives me quick boost, which I still don't know what quick boost does, but... This is a reusable fast-forward device now. So I won't have to carry, like, a bunch of baguettes or drugs or anything like that. So that's gonna be handy. Uh, I do have a drug on me, which I really don't need, so I'm just gonna leave it here. Um, I haven't been doing a lot of inventory management, just because I haven't really been picking up a bunch of junk. I haven't needed to. Where am I? What is... Uh, here. This is the reason that I wanted... Uh, to have this conveniently accessible. What's this room called? Nini apartment. Oh, this is where Nini lives. Okay. Interesting. Good to know. Uh, Nini doesn't have a whole lot of particularly interesting stuff here. <laughs> she has some drugs now. And one less snooze. Right, shoes, of course. Her house is the actual shoe warehouse. <laughs> okay, uh, well that was fun. Surely Pixies arrived at work by now. Um, where am I? What is this? This is City Hall. That's the hacked fuse box. So, during the the day when Pixie's out to lunch with Ivan, what else is there? Is mm, I'm just trying to remember. The, this part of the story was kind of a blur to me. Like, I don't think there was much in between this and him going to the Ministry. How did I end up at the Ministry that one time that I was in there? I poked around, I got a taser, I did lots of stuff. Hey, Felix. I don't know exactly how that happened. Sup? I gotta work now. <laughs> Alright, he's out of things to say to me. There she is. Hey, Pixie. So what did you make of our night at the casino? Uh, very interesting. Mm-hmm, very. We have to report to Frank. Okay. Problem is, I have a date with Ivan. Oh. So I thought you could handle the debrief de debriefing on your own, but I can't even say the word. <laughs> but he's scary! <laughs> nah, Frank is super nice. <laughs> you just have to ignore how awesome he is at computer stuff. <laughs> and DJing. <laughs> and dressing stylishly. Okay, that's why he's scary. <laughs> okay, I'll try. <laughs> I think he's in the break room. I have to go now. Ivan's probably waiting for me already. Oh, I'm nervous. He sounded strange. Mm -hmm. See ya. I wonder where Ivan is. I'm curious. Let's find out. I'm really glad I made this coffee the way I did. It is such a useful tool. At least for satisfying my curiosity about things. Cafe exterior. Okay. Meet at the cafe. Now, in case there's interesting options for this debriefing, let me go ahead and do, do one of these real quick. I don't recall what I had available during this. Hi! What have you got on Monad? What information did you get a hold of? She dresses real sharp. Yes, she does. But what did she say? It was very hard to get anything substantial out of her. Yeah? She mainly talked about gambling. Aha! Uh -huh. Could she have become suspicious? You, oh, right, the the minist the typer comes here. Mm -hmm. uh, Pixie was hardly around her at all. There's a typer up up top that I have to get rid of. I forgot that happened. Um, 
Strong urge to try to hack a slot machines. Shouldn't be too difficult. If you can smuggle a modifier, security, just for show. They scan every selling money. Oh, not for just for show. Okay. Felix wants to talk to me. Okay, so what happens now? Hey, seems like we have a problem. Dude from the ministry at my desk. Go warn Iraqi. You can escape through the door in Iraqi's room too. The one through the tree? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, bye! <laughs> Alright, so I know what happens if I go talk to the ministry dude. Um, there's a bureaucrat with Felix. What can we do about him? I do feel like shooting him. <laughs> You know as well as I do that that's a terrible idea. <laughs> so tired of them. They can't keep playing around like this. Have I heard this conversation before? Place will be filled with suits in minutes. Mm-hmm. Wait a bit and see if he leaves on his own. Yes, he does. He just has a complaint about his shoes. So I could leave through the tree. Can I talk to Yulian? Nope. All right. Whoa, noises. Which typer is it, I wonder? Uh, Felix there. Mm-hmm. I gotta work now. Due to the ministry, uh-huh. Giving me the chills. Date with Ivan. Right. Okay. Nobody's concerned about the ministry dude anymore. So I could leave this way. That just takes me to the tree. I want to see which typer it is. Just curious. Uh, it's so hard to see anything here. Let's see, when I'm, hmm, after Pixie's date with Ivan, I think somebody just came and found me in the street and wanted to talk to me about it. That's what I remember. Um, yeah, so I don't know exactly how to, okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, uh, like my parent kind of said, fine, I always have more shoes, whatever, have it your way, see you. I, I wanna, which guy is that? I wish there were a way to just exit a conversation. This is Typer 4, okay, that's the one. Watch it! Oh yeah, okay, well, there it happens. Uh, Petra? I've been looking for you, finally found you. I was just downtown for a bit. <laughs> Come to Pixie's place. In pieces, I haven't called to the ministry. What? <clears throat> Experiment. Uh-huh. Okay. Fetch Dorian. That's right, Dorian. Bye. <laughs> Goodbye, bye. Kind of curious where... This is the first time I get to meet Dorian. I don't really know anything about him, other than that he likes to talk about lighthouses. Uh, where is he? Well, Dorian's apartment or something, probably. <laughs> that won't actually tell me much if I just get the name of his place. Uh, it doesn't matter. Alright, so now at this point I get how serious it is for Ivan to be called into the ministry. They seemed a little overdramatic last time I did this. Hi. Uh, what's up, Ivan? Pixie's a little down. <laughs> uh, Life-threatening experiment... 
how dangerous it is. Okay. Okay. So what's happening tomorrow, really? Like returning a favor. Oh, what did the minister do for you? Let an old friend try this out, try out this thing she's been working on. Hmm. Old friend, who might that be? She has to test it on a person. Surely you're not talking about Monad. Are you friends with Monad? Didn't give you much of a choice. It'll be cool. Just the worrying kind. Okay. So who are you and why is this the first time I... Wait, I do know your, know your name. Because Petra told me. I see. What a day. Mm-hmm. Do you know what they'll do to him? Yeah, I've seen the future. Oh, is that so? Uh-huh. Pixie concerned. She really loves him. Are you sure? <laughs> uh... have been mm -hmm. <laughs> wait are you asking me that now that's what he asked that's what she asked what should I have answered answer me even mean <laughs> I like you don't worry <laughs> need to be alone with Ivan Time for all of you to leave. Oh, Felix was up there. I didn't realize. Should I go too? I think that'd be best. Time alone. Experiment tomorrow. Can you be there? Mm -hmm. Can't we meet here? Have to walk with Ivan there. Meet in the ministry lobby tomorrow morning. She doesn't specify a time. I guess just in the morning. Okay. Well, this seems to be playing out exactly the same. Oops. Is there a cake? It was here somewhere. I can't see it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, I'll get out of your place. <laughs> Alright, yeah, and it was immediately after this that I broke everything and skipped straight to an ending. Alright, so I think we're about to get into the interesting part of this where there's uncharted, uncharted territory, new stuff to see. At least that's the hope. I'm sure there's going to be some fiddling around because I was not sure how to... Um... I wasn't sure what to do, and the only thing I could figure out was to go to the outpost, find Ivan, and... Oh, the Albert storyline. Yeah. I was supposed to go... Petra, I think, lives in Albert's old apartment, if I had read the subtext correctly. So I'm supposed to go talk to her. I want to see where Dorian goes. Um, I think there's going to be a whole thing with Albert and Zara, maybe. Um before I get to Ivan, because I had that discussion with them right after I had given him the drink. I think that's supposed to happen first. Because Albert was talking about Ivan having been there, even after I'd already rescued him, so I think I did that in reverse order. Uh, this guy can buy a Wellspring soda from me. I think his name is Bob. Um, yeah, so I think... I think there's going to be some Albert stuff before I before I get to uh, Ivan. Is what I'm saying. But the experiment has to happen first. And then I talked to some people at the lodge, and that's when I broke all the stuff.
Where is Dorian live? Not in this crazy house. Oh, he lives in the poor desolate section of town. Now, wait a minute. He's the... You're the poet, aren't you? You sit on the bench out in front of this place. Okay. Now I know who you are. The guy over here. Always oh, talking all cryptic-like. So here's an example of the snooze, by the way. I can just use it, take one, fast forward, and I still have it. And it doesn't... it doesn't list a... Is this your place? It doesn't list a number of uses or anything, so I think that just lasts forever. So that's actually a very handy tool. I was here long ago. I checked all the stuff. There were floppies to read, things like that, but nothing all that interesting other than that. Okay, uh, cool. So, uh, next time, ministry in the morning. I uh, shouldn't have drank, dr drunk so much coffee so that I won't be able to sleep, so I should be able to sleep through the night and get there very quickly. Hey, bird. You're sitting right in the center of that. <laughs> uh, I kind of just zoned out. Video's supposed to be ending. Right. Ending video words, stuff, next time, see you, things. What a time for my speaking ability to take a vacation. See you next time.